I don't know what to say at the beginning of these things. I got no idea. You might be asking yourself, how do I care for my silicone toys? Well, there are a few things you might want to keep in mind if you want to keep your toys in tip-top shape. Hey everyone, my name is Derek and I am the owner, creator, and head silicone slinger here at Amaviti. First and foremost, silicone is super resilient. It can be bent, stretched, even boiled. But the absolute worst thing that can happen is to get a cut or nick in the silicone. Once that happens, your toy's days are numbered. It'll eventually start to tear, so it's time to retire that toy. There's a myth running around that silicone toys will melt together if you store them together. That's absolutely false. I have my bucket of flops where Toys have been sitting together for three or four years, and none of them have started to melt. If you have softer toys, like in the 00 series, you might think about storing those standing up. I have seen some deformation in softer toys that have been tossed into my flop bucket and crushed for months or even years. As far as lubricants, both oil-based and water-based lubes are totally fine with silicone. If you have a lube you want to use, always apply a little bit to the underside of the base and rub it in. If your toy starts to swell or get gummy, that particular combination of lube and toy just isn't compatible. Always clean your toys. Soap and water is usually good enough, but you can buy special cleaners at your local toy store as well. Another good option is bleach water. Just use one part bleach to 10 parts of water. Another safe option is alcohol. We often use 99% isopropyl alcohol to clean up mold release and such. No matter which method you choose, always rinse really well and Allow it to air dry before you put it away. As I mentioned earlier, you can boil silicone as well. If you have a toy that needs to be sanitized, boiling it for 10 minutes should be fine. I should note that some pigments can fade with prolonged exposure to heat, so be careful. And don't forget that silicone is a great insulator, so it'll hold on to that heat for a really long time. So be careful when you're fishing it out of the pot. And with that, I'm out. I'll see you next time.